Hi there. Hey, in this video, we're going to count down the top six best jazz standards for learning how to improvise with single note lines. Now, I'm going to explain why each one of these is one of the best ones to start with. These songs are found in my jazz guitar improv course, and that course is designed for guys who are just beginning to learn how to improv. This course is going to get you going. Now I've got my Heritage Golden Eagle, and I'm going to play through a couple of these songs, and we're going to talk about each one. One of the most important songs to start with is this song right here. You know that, Summertime. Why is that song so important to learn? Well, number one, it's a minor key, and it's eight bars in the minor key, then modulating to the relative major. So this we're in the key of A minor, modulating in the chorus or the hook of the song to the, the key of C major. So I've got A minor, this is all A minor. And then we go into the four chord. Now we're going to modulate into the home key or the relative major. And so it's got some blues notes and we have that important aspect of going from major to relative minor. So in my course, we cover that a lot, and we talk about playing over dominant chords, and that's very important, both in major and minor keys. So summertime is the first one to begin with. Number two is blue bossa. Now, why is that song so important to learn? Well, now we have two different tonalities, C minor and D flat major. Really important to be able to play lines within the key of C minor, but we also have a nice four chord in there, it goes. Into the four chord. Why is that so important? Well. In our solo building, as we learn to construct a solo, we're going to play over a minor chord with the sound of a dominant. See if you can hear it. You hear all those little phrases? Takes us from minor now to the four chord of F minor and then we go back with the five card. Now, here's the important thing right here. We're going to do two five of the key of D flat. You hear it? So, developing that skill, taking a minor chord, turning it into dominant to go to the four chord, very important, and then playing two five in another key, in this case D flat, another super important thing to learn. Thank you. 
Next is a C minor blues, a 12 bar blues. Now, so far, summertime has been 12 bars. Blue bossa is 16 bars. But now we're gonna go back to a 12 bar blues in a minor key. Let's see, sounds like this. Nothing sounds more jazzy than a minor blues, okay? That sounds like jazz. And what's really important about learning this is, again, uh, treating a minor chord, turning it to major to, to bring out the four chord, but then on the turnaround, playing five of five. In other words, the five chord in this case is G7, and we're going to play the five of that, D7 to G7, and then the C. So those tonalities that are flying about within your line is something that's a skill set that you want to learn how to do. And nothing is better than to play a minor blues. All right, number four on the list is B flat bebop blues. Quite simple, it sounds like this. start again. So you've been playing blues, I'm sure, for a long, long time. But now we're going to play a bebop blues. And the important thing about this is being able to play over the changes that are being played and implying other chords within your line that aren't being played. Also, being able to play a complete line that has uh, space in between the following line. In other words, we don't want to ramble on. So you, that is a valuable, valuable lesson. So here's an example of that. So we have a line that is developed and then uh, it moves through the chord changes. So B flat blues, B flat bebop blues is something you'll be working on a long, long time. So I like to get students playing that right away. Number five on the list, a song called Doxy. Um, Doxy is a little tune that sounds like this. It's a bluesy.
Doxy is a 16 bar little bluesy tune that has descending tritone changes. And a little bridge. So it's important for you to be able to solo around those descending chords because it happens all the time in bebop, in jazz, okay? So that's something that needs to be studied and we need to focus on being able to play that, being able to hear that, and uh, be able to solo around those chord changes. So Doxy is a very important tune to learn. Okay, last one on our list, number six. Another 16-bar song, Miles Davis' Tune Up. So uh, this particular song is a, a fast tempo. Five descending to five changes to the one chord another just a, back to the home so it gets us used to playing around descending tonalities and that is so important jazz is tonal centers flying all over the place and this particular song will get you thinking in the direction of tonal centers that's why i've picked that song so miles davis's tune up <laughs> All six of these songs are super important if you want to learn to improvise because each one has its own unique characteristic that will help you understand how jazz works. And if you can solo over these tunes, and they're, then you'll be able to solo over many, many others. There are also songs that are short form. In other words, they're not A-A-B-A, with a long song form. Therefore, they can be studied a little easier by narrowing down the changes. In the JGI course, the Jazz Guitar Improv, we take each one of these songs and study it in depth with 10 lessons per song. We're talking 60 lessons here. So it's a detailed study. We're gonna learn the comping how to play the melody correctly and in different areas, nice comping changes, chord melody, 
and then soloing. And one of the things that a lot of folks forget is that jazz improv is the reorganization of something you already know how to do. So I didn't say that, that was a Joe Pass quote. Now, if you learn these songs and then learn the crafted solo that I've written out, then we learn how to reorganize those notes and then you're on your own to write your own solo. Once you do that, that and you go through all six of these tunes, you're gonna start becoming a pro at improvisation. Okay, so this is the surefire method on how to get into improv. It just doesn't come down from the sky. Okay, it takes work and it takes technique. So all these things have to uh, pull together a good understanding of the chord changes, how they relate to one another, the tonalities that are being played, and how you can outline those changes in a melodic line. Super important. You know, a lot of people watch somebody improvise and they think, wow, that, that's so great and it looks so easy until they start doing it. Then they realize this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. One of the things that this course will give you is the confidence to stretch out and start doing it on your own. Nobody falls off out of the sky and can play this stuff. It has to be studied and that will give you the confidence, not only in these songs, but also in songs that you'll play regularly at jam sessions. So if you want the confidence, you need to start this study program. Let's face it, the reason most of us got into jazz guitar is because it looks so fun to improvise. Sure, the pros make it look easy, but those of you who've tried it know it's pretty difficult and very intimidating. There's so much content and it's so it goes over your head a lot. Some guys don't even attempt to learn improv soloing because it looks so hard. Others try and fail and totally give up. I've been playing guitar a long time and I don't improv at all, so. Does this sound like you? If so, it's okay. You're not alone. One of my problems as a student was that I go superficially into many songs and I think I know. Well, in actual fact, I don't know any of them. But did you know there are secrets to make it much easier? Rich Severson has shown them to thousands of students. He has a proven way of changing your thinking over time. And he's really good about giving you fundamental uh, knowledge and the uh, techniques that, that will really help you progress. It's able to embrace uh, beginners as well as more experienced players. If you thought you could never play improv solos or have tried before and failed, Rich's course, Jazz Guitar Improv, will work for you. What I love most about Rich is the way he's able to break down very complex material into little bite-sized pieces. And he has so many different ideas for approaching a given chord progression. Now when we're talking a blues lick on A minor, we can talk with just the simplest things in mind. In other words, how about this? That's all we need. And do it there. Jazz Guitar Improv is a proven, systematic program specifically designed to get players to solo on the fly. The trick? It's all about giving you confidence across the fretboard. It's not so technical that it goes over your head. Like, and I think that's one of the things that I like about his style. Is he's able to sort of, uh, for lack of a better phrase, kind of dumb it down. Rich has a methodical way of changing your thinking over time. He builds your confidence by teaching you the correct way to approach a song if your goal is to play improv solos. There's never a duplication of information. It's continually challenging and yet 
continually rewarding. One thing is for sure, when you are confident on the fretboard, magical things start happening and that's when the fun really begins. Rich focuses on six famous jazz standards that will increase your jazz vocabulary and get you playing tasty solos that will impress your friends. I think Rich has a way of feeling, uh, being approachable. And he showed me a couple of easy things to play and sure enough, he got me doing improv for the first time in my life. The longer you wait, the longer you'll be playing the same old things. The time to become a confident jazz soloist is now because uh, jazz is complicated, but once you understand how to, um, uh, to improvise and how to use what you already know in a different uh, setting, uh, it, it really opens up a whole new world of, of uh, uh, your ability to improvise and enjoy the jazz, playing jazz music. Sign up for Jazz Guitar Improv today and fulfill your dream of improvising over your favorite songs. Use the promo code RICH on YouTube and instantly save $100. If you don't like it after a few weeks, we'll give you your money back. What do you have to lose? Don't let your dreams of becoming a great jazz improviser go down the drain.